a car is traveling at a velocity of 20 meters per second, so that's our V, over the top of a hill of radius 80 meters, so that's our R, and the driver's mass is 60 kilograms, so that's M. What is the apparent weight of the driver at the top of the hill? Well, another name for apparent weight is the normal force. So if we draw a free body diagram here, we have mg down, pointing towards the center of this little hill, and we have the normal force up. So let's do Newton's second law. Since the gravity force is in the same direction as this acceleration, right? Centripetal acceleration is always towards the center. We give that a positive value. Then we subtract the normal force, which is in the up direction, and that equals mv squared over r. We isolate the normal force, and the normal force now will equal mg minus mv squared over r, which is m, we take the m out, so we only have to multiply it once, v squared over r. Our mass is 60 kilograms, g is 9.8, minus, we'll put another bracket there, v squared, so what do we have for v? That's 20 squared over r, which is 80. We carry out the math and we get 288 newtons, which to two significant figures is 290. The answer is B.